Okay, so before I move on to the next uh, number, I want to just say that my friend Carry On Plays has been doing a Christmas countdown list alongside me, and I know I haven't mentioned it in the last few videos, but I have been leaving annotations and uh, links in the description to his playlist for that for that uh, countdown. Uh, so I really urge you to take a look at it. He's had he's had got some really good games on there and some really good opinions about them. Uh, and I just hope that you all enjoy both of our countdowns that we have to offer. So, moving on to number 16, I believe it is Arkham City. Batman Arkham City. And uh, this, this was another tough decision. It's another one of those, do I put the first one or do I put the second one on? And uh turned out to be Arkham City. And... That decision was through the fact that Arkham Asylum was quite linear. It, I know you had the, the, the freedom of roaming, but the it was so small. The corridors, it was just very tightly packed because it was an asylum. You had like the corridors and you had the just the rooms normally. But Arkham, I, I, you, and you had that one outside area that you could go in. But then when Arkham City came out, you had the this expanded world this like whole city to roam inside and you could just tell this place was full of scum and villainy sorry for the star wars quote but um it was a very uh, gritty dirty place to be in which was quite true to the the batman world you know gotham is to, supposed to be a very gritty and horrible place due to all the crime and this really gave you that feel and the atmosphere was great you just you walk around the city and you'd see a bad guy down there doing something and you might see something happen on a rooftop or you might go and investigate something you heard and uh, it was a very satisfying Batman game I enjoyed Arkham Asylum and then I got I got City quite late on after it had been released and uh, I just enjoyed what it had built upon I mean, the combat was quite the same. They added a few new gadgets, uh, some new characters. Disappointingly, though, they did not uh, return with the Scarecrow, which was one of my favourite parts in Asylum. But uh, they still had the Joker. You still had Bane. Uh, I'm not, was Bane even in Ar Asylum? I'm not sure he was. Or was that Killer Croc? Well, I'm not sure they even had Killer Cro Croc in here. But they had, you know, some fan favourites like Mr. Freeze, the Penguin. Uh, and uh, I just really enjoyed what they had built upon. I mean, the story got kind of lost. I mean, I think you were doing something to stop some guy. I think Doctor Strange were trying to stop him from doing something. And then there was this whole storyline with Ra's al Ghul and the League of Shadows and stuff like this. But the main thing was Joker and his illness. And that was quite interesting and how it played out and um, I apologize I've got quite a bit of a cold going on so if I don't sound top-notch that's why and uh, I think the favorite part about these Batman games is the combat the combat is very fluid it is a very enjoyable combat system you know you've got it's quite simple but it's enjoyable like it's uh, it's like you're watching Batman truly do it himself. So you'd have your the goons around you, you'd be fighting, and you know, you'd have to counterattack, and then you could seamlessly move between counterattacking, doing special moves to doing a combo on one guy, and it was just a whole mesh of this seamless action. And it was just a fluid game. Everything was quite fluid. Nothing was like very jittery or very robotic in a sense except you know Batman's movement he moved a little bit like he was got something stuck in his pants but uh, other than that the characters were great as always you know the voice actors hats off to Mark Hamill and you know his final outing as the Joker it was brilliant and uh, I think it's, his name's Kevin Nolan who voices Batman. He did another great job, another hats off to him and his outing as Batman. No longer are they both in Origins, which sadly. But uh, 
the the voice acting was great the characters were great the environment was great storyline meh got lost on me combat was great it was just a, a solid good game and uh, I'm a fan of Batman so another obvious reason as to why I chose this game to be number 16 on this list